honorable judges, respect audience, and everyone here today. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I'd like to thank your medical. It is because of him you are allowed to attend this contest. Secondly, Ms. Lawat and Salam always be delivered to our Prophet Muhammad wasallam, who had brought us from the darkness to this bright modern era that we will be today. And last but not least, I'd like to thank the judges for having me here in this fine, joyful and morning. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Yasmin Zawanadia. Today, I will convey about the topic of the importance of COVID-19 vaccination toward the Indonesia education system. Honorable audience, the last two years is becoming new phenomenon all over the world. All have adapted something that we never think before. Wearing masks, washing hands as often as possible, keep distance, and all these things become our daily routine. Everywhere people talking about Corona, it's so frightening. All have country tried, meaning for Chicago of this spring. The term lockdown began to emerge when the virus first began to spread. All of right, the access to several regions and areas was closed. The implementations of large-scale social restrictions make the lockdown areas getting wider, which of course has a big impact on all orders of life. All must be able to survive and adapt. And lastly, the implementations of restrictions on community activities which the public movement restrictions. The target of providing vaccination for all Indonesian people is the whole job with these chains. The late survey note that only 46% of residents were fully willing to be vaccinated against COVID-19 and about 28% said they didn't want to be vaccinated and 23% were doubtful. Meanwhile, when as whether they think the government's COVID-19 is safe for health, around 64% believe it and strongly believe it. While those who don't really believe reach 25%. However, in mid-2021, the vaccine program has begun to be accepted by some people. Although many still refuse, still for the same reason, they don't really understand how the vaccine works. The number of people who have been vaccinated against COVID-19 has reached 26.62%. To bring this up to bring this pandemic to an end, a large share of the world needs to be immune to the virus. The safe way to achieve this is with a vaccine. However, the government started getting vaccination for education sector. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be two key terms I want to discuss here. First, COVID-19 vaccinations, and the second, Indonesia education system. Let's come to the first. COVID-19 vaccinations means the vaccine is aimed to protect by the virus called COVID-19. The vaccination work by boosting immune system ability to fight certain infections. The vaccination teach our immune system ability to fight, to recognize and fight specific germs so that when they are exposed to them, he or she has much lower risk of getting sick. And the second, Indonesia education system I mean here. Indonesia is currently implementing a national education system. All levels, pathways and type of education must implement the system. One of the late education programs in the country is the 12 years of compulsory education, namely 6 years of elementary school, 3 years of junior high school, and 3 years of senior high school. Respectable judges, I have some one question relate our discussion today. How can the vaccine distribution support the Indonesia education? Let's come, to the, let's come to my argument. Online learning as a result of prolonged pandemic gives a lot of complaints and protests from parents. After all, the government is more concerned with our health, even talking to school for students and parents is also important. Haven't parents effort big big to break this chance transmissions? Yes. The success of providing vaccination for all Indonesian citizens can restore the social conditions. 
No doubt the governments make the education sector a priority for vaccination to restore the education system. This is to ensure the, the right to work. One of the basic rights of children can still be fulfilled, especially for especially for areas with limited, with limited internet access. Honorable judges, as we know, the government has started implementing that the targets public servant and the other, including educators and education personnel, which is one of the priority for vaccination program. The vaccination policy for educators and education personnel is taken as a step to the loss of ability and learning in experienced students or learning loss due to the COVID-19 pandemic, especially for those who have most difficulty carrying out in distance learning, such as kindergarten, elementary school students, as well as to support accelerations implementations of face-to-face -face in learning the education units. That's all for my speech. Thank you and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.